going to very quickly clean up the upstairs. Mainly our bedroom, when Blake deployed, we went through all of our closets and we donated a lot of clothes. He packed a lot of his clothes to take with him and he left a lot of clothes behind. And so he's been gone for a little while and I haven't cleaned up the room and it's, it's giving me anxiety. Oh geez, that's clean. Those are clean. Uh, I honestly don't know if those are clean or dirty. If I'm not sure, I'll probably wash them just to be safe. I don't know why that's here. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. Those don't go there. I'm so embarrassed. This is so embarrassing. I am desperate to clean this up. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I know where we can go. We have made some progress in here. You're my helper, huh? I have a problem with like hoarding water bottles because <laughs> I'm always thinking I'm gonna be thirsty in the middle of the night and most of the time I am, but I forget that I already have water bottles up here. So I'll grab a fresh one thinking I need another one and I bring it upstairs and this is what happens. Like they start multiplying. And I mentioned that we kind of donated a lot of clothing before Blake deployed and um, let me know what you guys think about this idea because I don't even know where to start. There are a couple shirts and like clothing pieces that Blake has had that he really, really likes, but he doesn't really wear them very much anymore. So we were gonna donate them, but he kind of has an emotional attachment to some of them, which I understand. He has a lot of like band t-shirts and a lot of these shirts that he has are kind of tied to memories of like concerts he's been to and stuff. And so there are like this, this pile of shirt that he doesn't want to like get rid of because he really likes them, but he never really wears them anymore. We got a Metallica shirt, a Motley Crue shirt, and then I actually think this was a Ford shirt. It's yeah. Ride the Pony, it's like a Ford shirt. So he has like a couple shirts that he wants to keep, but doesn't want to like wear them. So I had the idea of maybe we could collect some of these shirts and I could make like a quilt or a blanket out of them or something. So that way we could keep them, but he doesn't have to like necessarily wear them. Like they won't take up space and we love blankets anyway. So I kind of, that's kind of my thought process. The issue is I don't have like a sewing machine or like any sewing stuff. I'm willing to learn and that's something I actually want to do in the future anyway, but uh, I definitely need more shirts. This is something that I could probably do if I went to like Goodwill or a thrift store or something. At the same time, he's kind of picky about the shirts that he has. Like there's some shirts that he wouldn't want and all kinds of stuff like that. And he has a ton of shirts anyway. So I don't know, let me know what you think of that idea or if you have any alternate ideas that maybe would fit for this situation. Anyway, it feels so much better to have like it slightly more put together. I feel like there's only a couple professions in the world that allow for having a tripod in the bedroom. Being a YouTuber is one of them and I'm pretty sure you guys can guess the other ones. This is YouTuber status, I promise. <laughs> I just got a text from Blake saying, hey, go to your computer really quick. And he sent me a screenshot of online Dominion. Blake, say hi. 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 <laughs> We're literally playing online Dominion against each other. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's actually really super fun. And Blake, are you obsessed or what? I'm not obsessed. I just was curious because like, you know how you have cards against humanity and stuff online? Yeah. I figured this game would definitely have an online version of it. And I just Googled it and it was right there. I have 36 victory points so far. Blake has a uh, nine and the <laughs> bot has 30. Oh my God, I'm tied with the bot. I have to play and beat you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Check it out, people. I won. I had 73 victory points. That's pretty absurd, to be honest. I don't think I've ever had that many victory points before. It was all those gardens. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, best angle to vlog ever. Oh, okay. What time is it? What time is it? This is worth celebrating. My car isn't turned on enough. 6.20, let's do it. Today, we are up bright and early to go to the gym, woo! Also, Blake has gotten me obsessed with Five Finger Death Punch, which is a band I would never have listened to if it weren't for him. All right, let's do this. Okay. I'm feeling hyped. I've been listening to loud music <laughs> the entire way over here. So we're gonna do this. I have like an hour and a half here, which is great. And then I gotta get home and um, work. Cause I'm wearing my glasses. Usually when, oh God, they're dirty. Usually when I go to the gym, I like to wear my contacts, but 
I don't know if you guys have had the most targeted ads in the world for Hubble contacts. I actually found them on Instagram, like an Instagram ad, and I was like, wow, it's a monthly subscription for contacts. That is exactly what I need. So I tried them. I've been trying them for like maybe a couple weeks now, maybe like three or four weeks. I honestly don't think I like them. They, I don't think they fit my eyeballs that well and they just don't seem very high quality and I was kind of expecting a higher quality contact and so I keep putting them in thinking I'm gonna like them more and then I don't. At the gym today, I was just like, no, I'm not even gonna bother with like painful contacts in my eyeballs. I'm just gonna go with my glasses. So gonna have to cancel that here pretty soon, I think, just because it's just not working for me. Do you guys wear contacts? If you do, what brand of contacts do you use? Previous to this, I always used the AccuView Oasis and then the last time I went to the eye doctor, they gave me AccuView Vita, which I guess are monthly instead of like a couple weeklies. I think I'm gonna try those again. I like them, I think. But let me know if you guys have any other suggestions. For now, we're gonna go sweat. so good almost eight o'clock i was there for a while sumo deadlifts leg press hip abductions uh what's this one called back extensions and then i did 20 minutes on the elliptical on an interval training so i'm feeling uh, honestly a little bit euphoric right now it's a great day life is good now i'm gonna go home and shower because i desperately need it i'm so sweaty we gotta get ready for work Um, I'd like to actually cancel my subscription, please. Uh, of course. Why did I ask you the reason for canceling your account? Um, yeah, there's actually a couple reasons. The ultimate reason is that when I did the math, I actually found cheaper contacts elsewhere. But the other reasons were that um, I, 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 could, I just kind of had issues with the contacts. I found them to be rather uncomfortable when I wore them. Gathering, um, the, I respect your decision, though it's said to see you go. I'll go ahead and cancel your account here and uh, you will receive a confirmation email okay shortly okay perfect there you go account has been canceled is there anything else that i can assist you um nope that's it thank you so much you're welcome well thank you so much for calling and have a good one okay you bye. too bye I am no longer a Hubble contact subscriber. That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Sometimes when you call people, you just gotta be nice, like on the phone, and when you're nice to people, usually they're nice back. It's HQ trivia time. If you guys aren't playing HQ trivia, what are you doing with your life? It comes on twice a day, they ask 12 questions, and you can win real money, so you should totally sign up, and if you sign up, you should totally use my code so I get an extra life. Link is in the description bar below. Famously painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo, Bob Ross, or Mr. Brainwash. I would love to see a Bob Ross version. Can you imagine Bob Ross, Sistine Chapel, with his happy little seraphim? Q2, which US coin features a portrait of Abraham Lincoln, the birthday boy? Is it Kennedy half dollar, the buffalo nickel, or the penny? On your penny. Q3, which of these is not a unit of temperature? Celsius, Fahrenheit, or hectare? Hectare is a metric measurement of area. Q4, the R.E.M. song Man on the Moon was written about what comedian? Jim Carrey, Mitch Hedberg, or Andy Kaufman? The song title inspired the title of his biopic in which he was played by Jim Carrey, but the subject is Andy Kaufman. Q5, what disease gets its name from the Italian term for bad air? Influenza, malaria, or asthma? Here I come. Asthma comes from the Greek word for breathing hard. Influenza is Italian, but it translates from the word for influence. Malaria is literally bad air. Mala. Oh, got him. <laughs> Italian. And oh my goodness. Oh boy, Oberto. Savage question. Moving on to Q6. Students of Auguste Escoffier would have known how to do what? 
Design a chateau, perform a grand jeté, or prepare a velouté. Uh, oh, wow. A lot of people. I don't know about that one. Oh, got it wrong. Darn. So, That's okay. okay. And this is the last of the soup. The soup is all gone. The pot is gone. That was the left left the last leftover, I should say. That is a great way to uh, have lunch for like a whole week. I had another Tupperware full of soup today for lunch, and I figured I might as I should eat the last one for dinner, just because so that way um, it doesn't go bad in the fridge. Because I think we're on like day five, maybe of eating soup. The soup is good, it's really good. So um, a lot of you guys were asking for a recipe on this soup in a couple vlogs back. The recipe is coming on my channel this year, especially when Blake is gone. I wanna be focusing a lot on making content for that channel and also focusing on just making sure I'm getting vlogs out. So, um, so far so good, knock on wood. We've been doing well so far, I think. But there's a couple videos that I definitely wanna be filming on that channel. Recipe videos are one of them. This might be a little bit TMI, but I actually wanted to film like a birth control um, video, uh, things that I've used in the past and something that I'm using currently right now that I'm really loving. So those are two videos in particular that I want to be making um, in the nearish future. And then especially if I can get my butt out of the bed and keep going to the gym. I wanna be doing a lot more like filming of like my progress and stuff um, in the gym, just like fitness videos and like health videos and all that jazz. So um, yeah, if you guys have any requests for that channel, always feel free to hit me up with them. Um, I have a book around here somewhere, like a notebook full of ideas and I don't really know where it is right now. I'll have to find that. As always, if you have any requests for that channel, definitely let me know and um, I can write those down and we can make it happen. For now, we're having soup. Ah, so it's a new vlog and I'm about to do something really crazy, but uh, it's gonna be in the next vlog because it's definitely something that is deserving of its own video. Spoiler alert, I spent money today. So I lasted a whole five days <laughs> without spending a single cent. What I'm planning on doing is maybe like pausing the challenge today and then maybe getting back into it tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. But look at my nice clean room, isn't it so lovely? This has been like bugging me for so long, just having a dirty room. Let me know, how do you guys clean? Are you guys like clean freaks or do you like not clean that much? Because I am somebody who's like, I want to be clean. It's kind of like how I am with being a night owl when I want to be an early bird. I desperately want to be somebody who naturally wakes up early and gets like tons of stuff done in the day, but that's just not me. It's like that, but with cleaning. I want to be a clean freak. I want to have a spotless house, but I'm a naturally messy person and it drives me insane. So what I'll usually end up doing, I've talked about this in vlogs in the past, but like everything will be a disaster. And then I'll just have like this like switch that flips off in my brain and I feel like I have to clean everything. The whole house will get spotless and then it'll stay spotless for a little bit and then it slowly starts to get dirty again until I freak out and I need to clean everything all over again and it's a cycle that repeats itself. That is, that is how I clean. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is clean room by room. I think that seems like the most efficient way. Like the next room I need to clean is my bathroom. There's like just a lot of clutter in here. Like the countertops have a ton of stuff on them and uh, yeah, it just needs to be cleaned. There's like so many towels. We do not need that many towels up there. There's only two people that live here. Why do we have so many towels? I think the bathroom is what I'm gonna tackle next, but that's just gonna be in a different vlog. For today's question of the day, let me know your cleaning routines, how often you clean, what you do when you clean. Oh, and bonus, what are the best cleaning products that you've ever used ever? Because there, I don't know, I feel like I've been using like mediocre cleaning products my entire life. Let me know all of that in the comments down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Oh, it's gonna be crazy next time, but I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.